Hi beauties, welcome back. It is here, our long awaited, one of our favorite sub segments to do, one of your guys' favorite segments to watch, our Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. I, I don't know what happened to my standard bag. It is not here yet. It is close to the end of the month. Mom's has been here for weeks and I just have it sitting in my house waiting to film our, when ours gets here and it, it, it is not here yet, so. We're waiting on that one, but the Ipsy Pluses have arrived. So I was happy with my choices, actually. I didn't do a video, I meant to do a video, but I've just been, I've been lacking. They caught me slipping, sorry. I was happy with my choices. I actually, if I didn't choose to, but if I had wanted to, could have gotten three different eyeshadow palettes in my plus. That is huge. You guys know I love eyeshadow palettes. I opted to go with skincare stuff that was a little bit higher priced instead of the two palettes I could have chosen. Um, because like, like one really wasn't my color scheme and like, you know, so I was just like, well, I'll go with this. I'll go with other stuff. But I liked that they gave me the option to get three, which means in my opinion, they are kind of listening to what my preferences are. When I say I like eyeshadows, I want eyeshadow options. They're listening. I like that. I talked to Drea. She liked her bag. I thought her bag was well assembled as well. Same thing with Dana. She was happy with hers. She's happy with her choices. Um, it did seem to be pretty skincare heavy for both of their bags. Unless like, like nobody had as many palettes, I think, to choose from as I did um, from what they sent me. Not that, it, not that nobody got that option, just from the people I've talked to about their choices. My mom was not happy. My mom is pissed enough that she signed up for BoxyCharm and is really considering ending her Ipsy subscription. So Ipsy versus Ipsy may go away, it may just be Ipsy. So, so yeah, uh, she's rough. She's like not happy and I, for valid reasons. From what she told me about her standard bag, I, I haven't seen it because I haven't opened it because mine's not here yet. She hated that. Um, and she really was not happy with the choices they gave her for her plus either. What are you gonna do? I'm not feeling that way. I'm not feeling disappointed. I'm not really feeling like I need to like consider canceling Ipsy. I was happy with the X. She hated the X because she didn't like that she missed out on the chance to get the bag for the plus, which I do understand. Um, part of Ipsy's whole thing is the bag. And I do think it would be intelligent for them to throw in a bag. I think I said it when we were filming that I missed having the bag, but she really was like, I don't so I think she's gonna cancel her ex, which I understand. I I noticed this, which is frustrating. If if I'm wrong, if you can find out how to do it, let me know. I was going through and reviewing products from my old bags to get points, and I can't review anything from the X. When you go to look at past X bags, it gives you, it brings you to a page that says Ipsy Standard, Ipsy Plus. If you were to click on Ipsy Plus, because that's what it replaces, and then go to click on like the February bag, it says, oh, you didn't receive this one. Well, no shit, because I spent an extra $30 so I could get a $50 box rather than a $25 box. So what are we talking? Why can't I review my products? Like, this is ridiculous. So if you guys know how to do that, if you if I'm just like missing it or I'm on the wrong page, please let me know that because it was very frustrating. I literally spent like five minutes on their website trying to figure out where I could go to try and review my products to get points. And I was like, I guess the answer is nowhere. Anyway, that's just the backstory of like what's going on. Um, like I said, it says it, I'm not unhappy with what I'm, looking at with my plus, but mom didn't like her, so. Loved the bag. I thought it was so cute this month. Everything about it, the all-inclusiveness, the, you know, I just think it's it's precious, precious design, so cute. And it's a good quality too. It's like that thick canvas, you know, some of them are like feel cheapy. No, I like this one. So this is mom's, we always start with mom's. If you guys are new, I just rambled. Basically what I do, my mom has a subscription, I have a subscription. Uh, we have both the standard and the plus. Uh, I, each month I take both of our pluses and compare them. I take both of our standards and compare them. Today we're doing the pluses. And um, basically I look at all the five products that we got. I pick out which bag I like better as a whole and I pick out my favorite five products. Like if I could choose from our 10 to create an ideal bag. So that's what we're doing here. I always start with mom. So this is mom's bag. I think I'm trying to remember what they chose for her and what she picked. Ah, yeah, I think they chose for her the Anastasia Liquid Go Highlighter and the Meet Your Hue Concealer from Dose Cosmetics. So we're gonna look at those two first. I believe that was it. So this is um, a Liquid Glow uh, Highlighter in the shade Perla from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Looks like a really pretty shade, very neutral. I'm not a big fan of liquid highlighters and neither is my mom. Truthfully, I'd probably use it more like I would use glow drops where I would put just a touch of it into like my foundation as I'm putting it on with like my, my beauty blender and um, tackle it that way so that you get kind of like an all over sheen. I just feel like it's really patchy every time I use like a liquid or like a stick uh, highlighter. So I don't normally do that. 
Um, I think I might've been given the option to choose something similar to this and I didn't because I, I don't use them. The next thing that we have is the Dose Cosmetics Concealer. I was excited about it. My mom seemed to think that this was gonna be the wrong shade for her. It looks like it would work for me, which means it's probably gonna work for her. It might be a little light. I don't know. If she doesn't want it, I will use it because I definitely was a little sad that I didn't get that as an option or chosen for me because I like getting concealers. All right, next thing she has is, this is an air repair complexion boosting moisturizer. It's supposed to just repair your dull and tired and dehydrated skin. Moisturizers are important. I'm all about skincare right now. Um, I don't know the brand. I've never used this particular moisturizer before, but I still think that it's really important to have and I always like getting skincare, so. Not bad to me. You know, my mom is really critical of this bag and I understood a, a lot of her choices I agreed weren't necessarily like things that she would gravitate towards, but looking at her bag all together, I don't think it's a bad one. I don't know. I think she's just disenchanted with it and maybe it's just time for her to take a break. Um, she got this uh, Ofra blush in the shade Bellini. Really nice, really neutral, definitely something that she would wear. So I think that's a good product for her too. Honestly, the only thing I'm not really thinking is like that she's gonna use regularly is the liquid glow. Um, the last thing that she got is this MOTD five piece brush set. I also picked this out as my last option um, because I like having backup brushes. We've talked about this in like 8,000 videos, but um, yeah, I do. I like having backup brushes because that means I could go longer without washing them. I don't, I don't know. She really was very unhappy with her bag, like very unhappy with her bag. Even after she got it and opened it up, she was like, and I was like, okay. I don't hate it as much as she did. Maybe not my favorite bag, but I don't hate, I don't know. All right, here's mine. I'm definitely more excited about mine if I have to be honest. Mine was better. All right, so I also got the MOTD brushes. Oh, what was the theme? I didn't even look. Stronger Together, oh, I love that with the bag. It's so cute. I also, I got the same blush in the shade Bellini. I believe this was chosen for me. I don't remember choosing the blush, but maybe I did. So same blush. I am a big fan of Ofra, so uh, yeah. Actually weird. So that's two of our products that are the same. Wait a damn minute, I did get the dose of, wow, apparently I just didn't remember at all like what the hell I got. Cause I got the Dose Cosmetics concealer as well in a lighter shade. I got it in what I would classify as ghostly AF. Um, so she got the shade light and I got the shade fair. I mean, in fairness, I haven't left my house in a year, so like I'm probably pretty close to that light anyway. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited to try that out. I really did not remember that I had gotten that as well. Um, so I know that they chose this for me and I was really jazzed about it. This was the eyeshadow palette they chose for me. And then in two other options, I could have chosen an eyeshadow palette, but I, I did not, I didn't go for that. But this is the Bella and Argant. Really pretty, nice, like pretty, like a mirror. I'm like reflecting my ring light off the wall. Oh, the dog's been in here the whole day and then I'm trying to like show her the flashing lights and she's gone. Really pretty, really, really cute. Uh, smaller than what I thought it was gonna be by looking at it online, but that's, I mean, whatever, what does that matter? Um, but it gives you like a really nice little like array of kind of browns and then purples. Yeah, I definitely think you can make like a nice little look out of this. Final product, I've got Jekka Black Glow Drops. It's a highlighting primer for your face. Interesting concept. I wasn't expecting it to be a primer. I don't know. I think I chose this. So it's like weird that I didn't realize it's a primer. Uh, it's in the shade Rose Pearl. Oh, the dog's back. Hey Rocky, look. 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 Look at the wall. She doesn't care. Okay. I'm only a little crushed. It's fine. Yeah, so I didn't realize, I think I chose this, but I didn't realize that it was a primer or I didn't realize it was, yeah, I don't, I think I thought it was more of like the, like the glow drugs. That, what is the name of the company that does the glow drops? You guys know what I'm talking about. The one that like started it and then now there's like all these different companies that do it, but whatever. It makes me think of that. Color FX, that's what I was thinking of, yes. Um, so I was, I think I was thinking more it was gonna be that, but this is actually a primer, which is a cool concept. Small, whatever. Honestly, but I mean, literally it's these two items and then the moisturizer and she got the Anastasia glow highlighter instead so but our bags are the same so really when it's it's kind of a wash for me i was i was thinking it was gonna choose i don't know why she hated this bag so much i'm really confused i definitely will choose my eyeshadow palette so i keep obviously the brushes the over blush the dose cosmetics we both got those so those three would be in the bag 
I would choose the Bella and Ar Argant uh, eyeshadow palette from my bag. And I think I would actually, I don't know. I would need to test this out to, to truly know, but just because I know ABH as a, a company and I know I like their products and their highlighters, even though I don't really use liquid highlighters, I think I would probably choose this over the one that I got just because it is a bigger size and it's a brand that I know. Um, but overall, I'm happy with, I don't know why she's mad about it. I'm happy with it. I like this bag a lot. Um, let me know what you guys got. Let me know what you guys are thinking uh, in terms of, you know, oh, oh, that's so cute. I just realized that inside the bag, it says confidence comes from within. That's precious. I, I'm, a re I'm a big fan of the bag. I really am. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, are you feeling like my mom? Are you feeling like me? Do you feel indifferent? I just, I love it. I love to hear what you guys got. Definitely let me know. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that too, because we're cool. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.